Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, I have a relatively quick tutorial video for you today. This one will be about the air combat maneuvering modes for the radar in the FA-18C. Um, there are four modes. There is Boresight, which is the default one that you'll enter first, and then there is Wide Acquisition, both caged and uncaged sub-modes, Vertical Acquisition, and there is Gunsight Acquisition, or Gun Acquisition. Um, uh, controls we are going to need you'll need to go into air to air mode you can bind a control for this or you can just press it in the cockpit um go and trigger second detent to shoot your missiles um whatever keybinds you have for selecting your different weapons your different air to air missiles you will need td i'm um, sorry sensor control switch forward left and aft um additionally you will need throttle designator control depress and you will need undesignate nose wheel steering switch. Um, so I'm just going to pause this here. So I go into active pause. So first thing we'll do is go into air to air mode. You need to have your HMD off for this. If you have it on, then it will automatically look for targets um, with your HMD, which is not the point of this. I'll select a sparrow here. Um, the first mode that we're going to be doing is Boresight, so we will enter that from air to air mode by pressing sensor control switch forward. You see we have this dashed circle on our HUD, which um, commands uh, one, plus or minus 1.7 degrees uh, above the waterline and 3.3 degrees in azimuth, and this will automatically lock targets up out to 10 miles when you get the target roughly within this circle here. Um, the next mode, I'm sorry, I'm just going to go through these fairly quickly, is vertical acquisition. You will enter this from the ACM mode that we're in. You'll press sensor control switch aft, and this commands um, 6 degrees azimuth and minus 13 degrees and plus 46 degrees in the elevation. That's its scan zone that you can see outlined by these vertical parallel dashed lines. Um, this will automatically lock targets once they are in this area out to five nautical miles. Um, the next one, wide acquisition, which we will enter by pressing sensor control switch left. You can see that indicated by this rectangle here on the HUD. That will scan out to 10 nautical miles and automatically lock targets that are within the area up to 10 nautical miles. Um, 60 degrees azimuth, plus six degrees and minus nine degrees relative to the waterline. Additionally, when you roll the aircraft, um, you'll see that that rectangle stays slave to the horizon line there. It's, so it does not move when you roll, whereas the other modes will. So I should show you that. Actually, if we go into vertical, you can see as we roll, it stays slave to where the aircraft is pointing and how it's rolling. Um, Additionally, in our wide acquisition, this is the first sub-mode, which is called caged. We can also enter uncaged mode by pressing TDC depress, and you can see we now have this kind of crosshair that's up here. Um, this first little um, line here indicates plus 15,000 feet. This is plus 30,000 feet from where we are. Same with this minus 15,000 and minus 30,000, and we can slew this around and try to fine-tune where the aircraft that we're looking for is. Um, if you can see it and it's not right in the middle, then it's helpful to be able to see this around and fine-tune the airspace that you're trying to scan in. Uh, additionally, our final mode is gun acquisition, which we will enter by selecting the gun. And this will scan out to... Um, I'm sorry, I'm just reading something off of my other monitor. All of my like notes and things that I have about this. It, so this will scan out to five nautical miles as well, and it has it commands plus six degrees and minus fourteen degrees of scan vertically, and um, twenty degrees azimuth. So we have a F-16 on our nine o'clock over there somewhere. I'm just gonna find roughly where that is. I'm gonna start turning back towards us. All right, so I think we will acquire this target with the, um, uh, we'll go, I suppose we'll just do Boresight. Well, I'll show you locking it up with all of them. So there you can see, 
as we started to move towards that, I switched to wide acquisition because I know that it'll give me that 60 degrees of azimuth um, along the horizon line. And even though that the, the target is off center, it's not right in front of us, I knew it would be able to lock it up like that. Um, so I can unpause it. I'll undesignate this with undesignate nose with steering. That will take us out of the ACM mode. Go back into that with boresight. Uh, we'll switch to, we'll go stay in boresight, I suppose. And we'll try to find this target again. There it is. Right in the middle. Have another lock on it. Can undoes it. Come on. And there we go. I'm sorry, I was just fiddling with controls. It was not doing what I wanted it to do. And additionally, with vertical acquisition, same thing as I'm rolling, I know I have that plus 46 um, degrees of that it will scan vertically. Um, so I know that as I'm pulling there, I'm sorry, not plus 46. Um, oh, yes, plus 46. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I know that it would be, even though it's in front of me, kind of at my 12 o'clock high up here, then I can still engage that mode and it will be able to lock that target before I can get the nose on. So we got a lock here, and I'm pressing hold, trigger second detent, box one, maintain this lock here, keep tracking me. Oh, we missed. <laughs> That's annoying. Alright, no problem, we'll switch to our sidewinder, box two. And that splash one F16. Switched to AMRAMs because that's very annoying. Anyway, I hope this was a helpful, informative video for you. Um, I'm sorry, I know I was looking off to the left a lot because I have the numbers and things for the different degrees just up on my other monitor just so I can read them and not forget them. And I still forgot a couple of things. But anyway, practice these. It's definitely very useful to be able to switch through these different modes. Um, you'll find which modes are most useful in which certain areas. Um, and hopefully it'll help you when you're starting to transition into that um, within visual range arena um, from the beyond visual range arena to lock up and engage targets before they can shoot you. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If it was helpful, if you did enjoy the video, um, please consider liking, subscribing, it really means a lot to me when you do. We're almost at 400 subscribers. I would love to hit that mark by the end of the year. Um, but yeah, anyway, have a good one, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.